Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and welcome to my channel, Cheers Memories Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute granny square. It's basically your basic granny square, only the middle is a little bit more fancier. And this is great for beginners. It's really easy. I made a few samples. And here's a solid one and that looks pretty too, doesn't it? Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to use a six millimeter hook, but you can use whatever size you want. And I've got my yarn already attached. We're going to start off, I'm going to chain four, just like that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to slip stitch into that first chain we did. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain three. And this acts as our first double crochet. And I'm going to go right back in there and I'm going to do another double crochet. So now you'll have two double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go right back in here and I'm going to do two double crochets. And another double crochet. Now I'm going to chain one again. So we've got the chain three counts as a double crochet. And so we've got two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then chain one. And we're going to go back in there and do two more double crochets. And you're going to do this until you have eight sets of two double crochets with a chain one between them. So go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you here at the end when I have all eight sets of my double crochets. Okay, I'm at the end of the circle. I've got all eight sets of my two double crochets. I just did my chain one. And now we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Just like that. Now I'm gonna change colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and chain one and cut my work. And you can go ahead and finish with the same color. Or... Okay, so I'm going to go with my next row. I'm going to do gray. And it doesn't matter which chain one space that you attach your yarn. And there's different ways of attaching your yarn, so go ahead and do it the way you feel most comfortable. Okay, so now we're going to start our first corner. I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop. I'm going to chain three. That's my first double crochet. Now I'm going to do two more double crochets. So now counting that chain three, I've got three double crochets. One, two, three. I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to go right back in there, the same chain one space, and I'm going to do three more double crochets. And one more. So now we have three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets. Now we're going to skip over to this next chain one space and we're going to do three double crochets. And one more. So this is what it should look like so far. So now we're ready to do our next corner. We've got a corner, then we have three double crochets. Now we're going to skip over here to the next chain one space and we'll do three double crochets. Now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three more double crochets in that same chain one space. And one more. 
Okay, so there we have our first corner. We have three double crochets. Then we have our second corner. So go ahead and continue the same pattern. You're going to have the corner and then a chain three and then another corner. And at the end you'll have four corners with a set of three double crochets in between them. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over here to this next chain one space and do three. So go ahead and continue the same pattern and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, I'm at the end of my row here. Now we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three space there. And now we're going to slip stitch over to the next corner here. And I do this um, now because I just like how it smooths it out instead of, I'm going to change it color and I'm going to do white for the next row. And it just is a lot smoother looking than if I would have stopped here and cut off. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one. And you can continue with the same color. I'm going to change mine up where here I did two rows of the white. I'm going to change the second row here. Okay, and I'm going to do it white. So I'm going to go to any corner and attach my yarn. And this is um, a great granny square if you're just wanting something just a little bit more than your basic granny square. I love how the middle looks there. Okay, so now I'm going to chain three. That would be my first double crochet. I'm going to chain, or do two more double crochets, so that makes three. I'm going to chain two and three more double crochets in that same space. Just like that. And I'm going to go across and do three double crochets between these two sets of three double crochets. Right there. One more. And now between the corner and this set of three double crochets, I'm going to do three more double crochets. And now I'm ready for my next corner. Let's do three double crochets. Chain two. And three more doubles. And go ahead and continue this all the way around. I do three more double crochets between these two sets of three double crochets and then three here and then here's your next corner. So go ahead and continue that and I'll meet you here at the end of the row. Okay, I'm at the end of my row here. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. And I'm going to slip stitch the next two double crochets right in there. I'm going to slip stitch into the corner. And now you can um, keep going and do as many rows as you want. I'm going to go ahead and chain one and cut off. Oops. Now this next row is optional. I like to do it because I think it looks makes it look a lot prettier. And I'm going to do it, you could also, you could do it, I could have done it in the white, but 
I'm going to do it in the gray. Let's go ahead and attach to any corner. Just like that. I'm going to insert my hook, bring up a loop. I'm going to chain one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to do three single crochets. One, two, and three. And now I'm going to go all the way across and in each top of each stitch I'm going to do a single crochet. I'm going to work all the way across here just doing single crochets on top of every double crochet. I really like this white and gray color together. And like I said, this row here is just optional. And I'm at my next corner, so I'm going to do three singles. Go ahead and continue the same pattern, and I'll meet you here at the end of the row. Okay, I'm at the end of my row here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip over that chain one that we did and we're going to go to the first single crochet and do a slip stitch. Oh, my stitches are kind of tight here. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to fasten off. And there it is. It's really easy to do and works up fast. And it's like I said before, it's a little bit fancier than your basic granny square. And I love this white and gray together. I think this is my favorite one. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And hopefully I'll see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye.